guys next in crafting here doing an, an unboxing and short review of my insignia 32 inch LCD TV 720p 60 Hertz let's get to unboxing it now, I've had experience with this TV before I used to have a 40 inch in my room but after I switched to the smaller room that didn't suit me, so I downgraded to this one. And Insignia is a really good brand. Some people say it isn't. Some people like to say that Insignia uses crap parts, but I don't believe them. I got good use out of that 42 inch. It has really clean, clean picture, nice quality. And I liked it. It was a really good TV for the price. And this one was only 200 bucks at Best Buy, which is an amazing deal. Total came up to uh, about, I think it was 223 with tax and everything. But it's still a really good deal. And what comes in the box is you get a TV stand like that. We got the TV right here. Just go ahead and set that down. And then there's a bag with an instruction manual. It's got a remote, power cable, and there should be some batteries in there too. And then there's screws for the mount. So let's take this cover off. The TV looks really nice, it's got a nice big size, and another nice thing about this TV, it's an energy star efficient, so it saves your energy, it saves on energy, lowers your energy bill, whatever. There's this little sticker on the front here that says, estimated yearly energy cost $16. I don't really believe that, but still it's pretty nice. Take this plastic off. I hate this plastic, it sticks to everything. The only thing I probably have to give a negative on is the border of the TV, how thick that is. Some TVs have the thinner one, but this one has a thicker one. It's about one inch. That's your energy guide sticker. But yeah, I'm gonna pause the video and I'll get back to you once I have it hooked up. Guys, back again with the TV unboxing. Got it all set up, hooked all the cables up and everything. Now I'm just gonna turn it on. When I was setting it up, the one con that I noticed that I'm going to have to give it a minus on is the length of the power cable. It's not very long. It still reaches to my plug, thankfully, but it's not that long. Mode. Alright, that's just the time zone and everything. Where's the exit button? There we go. Don't know what that is. One thing I um, like about this though, I just looked on the remote. It has video, HDMI, ACC, and TV buttons. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's really cool instead of having to press the source button. So we'll just click our HDMI right now. Got it on my direct TV box. Hook that up with the HDMI cable. Oh, that's snagged on something though. There we go. So I got that hooked into there. Unfortunately, I don't have a second HDMI cable to hook my Xbox up with, so I'll just have to use the AV cables for now. But yeah, so far it's looking pretty good. My box isn't set to HD right now though, because my old TV wasn't in HD. 
But I'm anxious to see how this looks with uh, my Xbox and everything. I think it's going to look really nice. I've never actually had an HD TV in my room before except for that 42 inch I told you about earlier. And that one was really nice too. Same brand as this one. It looked really good. I can't remember, I think that one was a 1080p. This one's only a 720p. But it has a 60 hertz refresh rate, 720p HD, which is really nice. Any sort of HD is good. waiting for this TV box but while I wait I'll go ahead and set up my Xbox see how that looks on it hmm I don't know which button it is is it this one? Oh, it's the video one I see now still looks pretty good. I don't think my Xbox is in HD right now. I'm not using the HDMI cable, just the standard AV cables. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Go check out the settings and see if I can change that. Change my TV settings. Uh, guess not. Maybe it's in here. Hmm. Display. Oh, there we go. Widescreen. Ah, uh, looks nice. Hmm. Oh, I guess you need an HDMI cable or the HD cables for that. Huh, yeah. So it's right there. But still looks nice. I like how it looks. Let's see how some gameplay looks. When we wait for the DirecTV to set up, just jump into Halo Reach real quick. And this isn't a gameplay video or anything for you, YouTube people, the workers or whatever, wanna, or whoever wants to file my video for video game content or whatever, it's just Ted. And if you can hear that, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it sounds really good. Speakers are nice and it's got the bar going across the bottom there, and then all the buttons for it are on the side to the right. that cutscene looks pretty nice really smooth and again like I said earlier the refresh rate on this one's only 160 or no not 160 60 and I read some reviews online 60 is still pretty good for gameplay might lag just a little bit for some games like this. Got your challenges there. Got status. But yeah, it looks pretty good. But let's cut out of this, head back to direct TV. See if that's done yet. So I'll turn that off. And then switch back to HDMI. Alright, TV's working. Okay, I have no idea what the hell this is. Let's put something else on. Something not stupid. Pawn Stars. 
put that on. And then go ahead and change the settings for HD. Let's believe it's in display settings, video, screen format. Let's see. TV, widescreen. TV resolution 720p. That's it. Then, see if I can set up the remote for this. Set up the TV. Insignia. There we go. Never heard of a lot of those brands. So many TV brands out there. Oh, what model is mine? 32 L. 32 L. Ask your doctor if you live in or have been to a region where certain fungal infections are common. Huh. It's not an old model. I don't know my model. Look at those toys. Insurance must be expensive. Nah. It worked. They can save you up to thirty percent more by bundling your. All right, cool. Well, as dogs. Well, that's it. As you can see, it looks pretty good, HD. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And also, I'll put a link to the to the TV on bestbuy.com in the description. You can uh, get the TV. Uh, it's on. I don't know if it's on sale or not right now. I think it's just regular price for $1.99. Pretty sure it's available online, and it's available in stores. If not, just get it online, search near you, see if it's in a store nearby. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, favorite, and subscribe.